we started Turnic in 1991 and since then we've grown from, from a reasonably small company to one of the leading uh, construction companies in Dublin at the minute. Our range of projects, I suppose, they vary in size and uh, financial value. So we've got the small, the medium and uh, some large projects which we have on site currently. Tarnock would, would be known for, we'd say, Cherry Orchard School by O'Donnell and Toomey, Ryan Academy in, in City West. Uh, numerous projects like that there would have a special uh, speciality to them. So their facade finishes, their internal finishes, their shapes all of that, that we specialise in that, we love that, we love the challenge of it and we have a good, young, energetic team that's able for that type of stuff. We've carried out uh, numerous different types of projects. The one we're sitting in at the, min at the minute is a project for Dublin City Council, the Kevin Street Library, where it's a hist historic building. We restored it back to life and as you can see, it has many nice features and um, we were very happy to be involved in it. It's a conservation building uh, and that we kind of, we've renovated the interiors of the building, working for a conservation architect with the focus on bringing back the heritage values of the building, bringing them back to life and making them usable for the community and for the people who are here to use it. All of the projects nowadays are based on uh, type programmes, cost and achieving a satisfied client at the end of the day. Um, this particular project comprises 16 units, uh, 8 apartments built in the block behind us and 8 townhouses to the rear of the apartment block. It was on a confined site in the middle of a very nice residential area, lots of neighbours to mind and deal with. Studio 3 really enjoyed the whole process here, it was a very interesting project. A client um, will look for a, a professional contractor who uh, have the staff and personnel to complete the project, have the experience to complete the project, and feel, feel confident that, you know, I mean, whatever's going to come up or whatever problems arise, the town like have the experience and the wherewithal to deal with it and get it done. Well, in Townlink, we have a very good uh, structures and procedures, a good training regime too. And at the start of all of our jobs, uh, we would have uh, review meetings where we remind everyone as to the processes and um, systems that need to be followed from the very uh, outset. It is all about having um, a good project team. It's giving the site manager the uh, time to review the project prior to commencing so that when you commence on site that you can hit the ground running and I suppose the homework is done the procurement stage has been progressed, the subcontractors are appointed and that works are ready to progress on site. So it's very important on, on all our projects is that we, um, we gain the client's trust very early on and we, we work with them uh, collaboratively in uh, dealing with any, any challenges that construction can throw at you and then um, help um, towards solving those problems. Uh, we found Townlink to be very innovative. Um, that they brought solutions to the table, not just the problem itself, which helps a lot. Um, we found their attention to, say for example, health and safety is very good. And a well-run, well-managed site um, shows that there's attention to detail. This usually runs across the whole project, so that the actual construction element of the project is also running smoothly and on programme too. We wouldn't be here unless we had good staff, energetic staff, people that wanted to do the work for us, so in turn we treat them well. I think that the, the success of the, of the job is always at the, at the end when everything is gone off the site and the project is ready for opening and you're invited to the opening with the client and you walk the building with the client and he's saying this is a marvellous job. That's the satisfaction that Townlink gets from it. I mean I think the strength in Townlink is that kind of we make an effort to um, first of all live by our commitments to try our best to make sure that the design team and client is sort of satisfied at the end of the day that the job we have done is, um, is to their satisfaction. I think that's why we kind of get repeat contracts. Would we work with Townlink again? Of course we would. In fact, we are working with Townlink again on another project um, and hopefully that will be as successful as this one. Uh, I enjoy working with Townlink. Uh, Joe and TJ, the two principals in the firm, uh, are very nice people to work with. Uh, easy to talk to, you can talk openly. Um, they're not uh, combative in terms of, of their approach to the business. 
Um, they follow a simple philosophy that you do the work, you get paid and you go home. All three of those are very important. Everybody wants the work to be done well. Everybody should get paid. The client should make money from the job. The contractor should make money. Poor architects should get paid as well. And then go home, you know, work-life balance. Go home safely and uh, live your life as well. And I think that's a good philosophy for them to have. The towning culture is one of, of, of collaboration, of kind of trust and honesty that, uh, you know, we make a commitment to do something. Also that we're professional about what we do, that we make a, a commitment to do something and, and that we do our utmost to do it.